crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview on this teapot project that I did. Now full instructions will be on my blog, thepaperchef.com. So this is really just a couple tips and about the supplies I used. You can use some materials that you have and try to create a similar project. This is right in time for Teacher Appreciation Week, which is next week, Mother's Day, and of course with Beauty and the Beast out. Teapots are very popular. Okay, I used this beautiful paper. Okay, it's called Moroccan Designer Series Paper. It's by Stampin' Up! And it's only available until May 31st. There'll be a link to my store if you're interested. This paper's on sale. It's a great deal. I'm even going to get more myself. Whenever you buy Designer Series Paper, there's a color chart. Okay, and this one has Cajun Craze, Dapper Denim, Delightful Dijon, Emerald Envy, and Ray Vanilla. So I looked around and I had a couple of those colors in my marker packs. And I even looked and found an old paper pumpkin called Wickedly Sweet where I found a Cajun Craze uh, stamping spot. I don't know what happened to the top of it. Okay, and that was a great one for coloring the tea bag. Okay, so if you see here, um, I stamped in dapper denim or black and, and since I had a stamp pad for black the tea bag came out kind of dark so it looks darker when I colored it but for the when I stamped with dapper denim I was using this marker and what's nice is I didn't have to color the inside I left it open and I could color it later with the blender pen and the blender pen you just dip it into the stamping spot and color directly now to ink around the edges, I used this uh, Crush Curry. And the only reason I used that instead of Delightful Dijon is because I have it in a stamp pad. So just use what you have, okay? This is a retired uh, stamp set. I use it all the time. It's very popular, it's called Morning Cup. And that's where I found the t Terrific and Teabag Sentiment. Okay, next I just wanna show you about the the box itself, the tea bag, I mean the tea box, teapot, is made with the curvy keepsake die. You just cut out two pieces of designer series paper. You attach them on the bottom. It's so easy to assemble. Just incredibly easy. Now I made the top of the teapot and the handle using my Cricut. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you, see there's those are crooked shapes. And I hope you can see this. This is my, my Cricut application on my iPad. And so I just have tea, three teapot handles, which I'll talk about in my blog, because really I had to slice the teapot handle off of a bigger teapot. And then I just made two rectangles. So I'm, I cut those out using the same paper. Now on one, you know, six and a half by 12 piece, you can cut out two teapots and decide later which side you want to use. And you can cut out a few handles. I probably could fit another um, handle, you know, a couple more spouts. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Okay, so what else did I use? I used the Advanced Tape Glider, which I love. I mean, you can use Snail Adhesive, which is by Stampin' Up!, which is great. But this one is just, for me, something I'm more comfortable with. And then I use these little blue dots. And then I have this little idea for the presenting these is because these tea bags wouldn't fit inside of my little box, I was thinking to present it like that. So you have a little, little saucer there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my blog and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Tasty treat ideas.